if you want to know how I got this bold smoky eye with cute popping lips continue to watch you know what it is hey guys oh she looked tired baby but yeah I'm back to do a, another get ready with me I'm just gonna jump in and get these brows together all the products I use will be listed down below but I'm just using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer in I believe dark brown just to map out my brows I feel like if my brows are not together nothing is together so yeah I'm just showing you guys exactly what I do to achieve my eyebrows now I'm going in with the spiked eyebrow pencil from Mac just to fill in my brows I normally use two to three or even four products to achieve my eyebrows so yeah I'm just filling them in and making sure that everything is uniform I actually concealed under my brows with the NSH Beverly Hills concealer in 6.0 I thought I included that clip but clearly I didn't so yeah now I'm going in with the Tarte shape tape in the color medium as my eyeshadow base um yeah I like to use this a lot normally if you see me with makeup on and I have eyeshadow on this is the base that I used. So I'm just using a more free brush. I'm not even sure what name or number because it's not numbered. But yeah, and I'm going to go in with some RCMA powder and this fluffy brush from Morph. They came in a set. All the brushes that I'm using from Morph, they came in a set. And I think it's the Elite Collection, but now the Elite Collection is revamped. So yeah, there's nothing on there for me to let you know what you want I'm using. So now I'm going in with the Juvia's Place. Nubian to palette and I'm just going to start to carve out my crease I like to set my concealer obviously so that when I'm doing my eyeshadow looks the eyeshadow is blended and Seamless and smooth. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys how I create an eye look Now I'm gonna go in with Morocco and just create I like warm eyes for some reason like I feel like if I don't use like browns or oranges or it just it just doesn't suit my skin tone which is super weird but yeah I'm just going in and I'm just gonna create that crease oh I love this color from Mac I am into it I'm into it too darling come through but yeah I like this shadow oh my god it's so pretty I love it in the crease I do it all over the lid sometimes but I really don't like a really dark eye but yeah I'm now going back in with that Nubian 2 palette in that beautiful color don't know how to pronounce it so she ain't gonna play herself <laughs> but yeah and I'm going in with a clean 217 I actually use a 217 to create my crease now I'm just using this clean 217 just to help me blend I like a lot of blendage when it comes to my eyeshadow looks now I've been cutting my crease I love 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 this technique I went back in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Medium and I just am cutting that crease. I find that when you do a cut crease look, it just makes everything so beautiful. Like, come on. I love cutting my crease now. Normally, I would just throw the color on and keep it moving, but on the days that I want to make sure that my eyeshadow is on point, you will definitely see me cutting my crease. So now I'm gonna go in with another MAC shadow and a 239 brush from MAC, and I'm just going to pack that on. I did not set the concealer at all. I just packed the color on, and I'm actually using the shadow to set the concealer. So yeah, I find that if I set it after I cut it, it's kind of weird. So I just go right in with the shadow, and I'm just gonna pack it on. Now I'm going in with Oh My Mocha, beautiful color. This color is similar to I'm Into It. The only thing is it's not a matte. I'm Into It is a matte. And this is a satin, I believe. But the colors are so similar that I just wanted to use this to blend out my crease. So now I'm going in with a 266 brush and I'm going to do my wing liner. Okay, disclaimer. Normally when I do a wing liner, I'm like knee deep into the mirror. But I tried for you guys. I was like, you know what? Let me show them. I did not like my liner in this video. But it is what it is. Normally I do my liner and my lashes off camera. But I don't know what I was thinking today. Or that day I was filming. 
But yeah, normally my liner is like, boop, boop, done. But you're going to see me going in multiple times just to perfect it. But yeah, normally I do not do it on camera because I need to be super duper close to the mirror. So now I'm adding some more of that warm orange color just to help it pop. Like look at the difference between the right eye and the left eye before I start to add that orange. That orange just makes everything pop and pull everything together. Yes, darling. Yes. Look at look at the eyes, baby. Now I'm going to start to prime my face with the Natural Radiance Primer from MAC. I like this primer a lot. Um, I've been using it for a while now. So see, that's the concealer that I used onto my brows. So now I'm just going to perfect my liner because like I told you, it was looking really choppy and I do not like that. So I decided to just perfect it and add some more black track just because, listen, I, my makeup has to be on point. I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm just going to be using that same brush I used to blend out my concealer on my lids just to blend that out. I mixed almond and the orange shade from the LA Girl Pro Concealer line or whatever. I do not like this concealer, but I had to mix it. Now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Foundation in Y505. I actually just recently purchased, a few days ago, a um, Becca Evermatte Poreless Prime... Look, one of those Becca foundations. So I want to know how it's going to look so I, I don't know if I'm going to do a first impressions or wear it first and then let you know what I think or do it do it on camera it is what it is but I definitely want to try it out and just switch up my foundation I do not know how they do these voiceovers I'm over here dying but yeah but anyway I'm just going to be blending that out on my beauty blender I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Deep just to highlight and you know brighten up my face a little bit um, I get a lot of questions and compliments in person and Instagram and YouTube on how I wear my makeup because it's it's full coverage, but it's still natural and it's wearable. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on and just do a get ready with me because I was actually going to wear that day. I do not play around. I do not waste makeup. Not, no, no, no. Now I'm using the MAC Beauty Blender. Uh, I love it, but I hate it, I guess, because I haven't used it in a while. So I decided to switch to my beauty blender, the same one that I used to blend out my foundation. Now I always contour with a fluffy brush. I love that air brush effect that it gives me when you use a fluffy brush. And I just like to blend and blend and blend and blend. I never want you to know where my contour and, or my highlight begins. I want everything to mesh and marry. So I'm using this Real Techniques. I believe it's a buffing brush if I'm not mistaken, but I'm going to try to link it down below. But I just love this brush just to blend. I'm um, going back in with some more of that deep shape tape just to highlight a little more. Normally, I don't really highlight too much, but this day I was being a little extra. So I felt like giving myself a little extra highlight. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to blend and yeah, you know, you just make sure you blend a lot. That's what I do. Just blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going in with some Derma Blend powder. Um, I saw some reviews on this online and on YouTube and I decided to use it and I've been using it ever since. I had the Laura Mercy A translucent powder, but I wasn't really digging that. I would get creasage and, you know, all that under my eyes and that is not cute. But I love that to death. Now I'm going to go in with some banana powder. Now I like to set before I use banana powder. I find like it just looks ashy if I do not have something under it. So I will set with my Derma Blend first, blend that away and then go in with the banana powder. So now I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line with that same orange color from the Nubian 2 palette. Whatever I do on top, I'll do on the bottom. So now I'm smoking it out with I'm Into It. Normally, I don't smoke out my lower lash line too often. I used to do it every single day, but I got lazy. <laughs> so now I'm going in with my CoverGirl Ever, not Ever, what am I saying? My CoverGirl Ebony Bronze Bronzer. Yes, that is my tried and true. I still use it to this day. I think when I started my first um, Get Ready With Me, well, when I started, when I did, hello, when I did my first Get Ready With Me, I was using it, still rocking with it tried and true if it's not broken don't fix it 
I'm just blending everything out before I apply my powder. So now I'm going in with the Sephora. I listen, Sephora, you 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 see it. But <laughs> I like this powder. I think it's like the micro smooth powder. I like this just to pack in the color and just blend everything out. Now it's it's okay. I don't know. I'm not loving it, but it's okay. Now I'm going in with one of the contour brushes from the Elite set that I got for Morph with my Black Radiance. I don't even know. Oh my God, I forgot the color. I'll link it down below. But now I'm just going to be contouring my nose with the same Ebony Bronze Bronzer. Going in with these two blushes. Don't remember what these names are. I think it is Burnt Pepper and Raisin. I'm not too sure, but I'll link everything down below. I have everything on my phone. Okay, now for the glow. I have been loving this highlighting powder and this brush from Sephora. Amazing. Like, look at that glow. I don't like to glow to the moon. and No, I don't like it, but it's beautiful. Like, it's just enough for me. Now I'm going in with Old Darling. I always blend two highlights together. So Old Darling is going to give me a slight pop. But I love that glow with it underneath just to tone everything down and just uh, blend everything in. Now I'm going to be going in with the Deep Dark Brunette Veluxe Brow from MAC just to touch up my brows. Even though I do my brows first, you know, I always go over them or I mess them up with the powder or the foundation or whatever. So I normally just go back in and touch up my brow. But I cannot do my brows last. I, I just can't. I just need to see what I'm working with and I'll just go back in and perfect it. Now I'm going in with this brush. I love this brush. I was obsessed. The 140 Special Edition brush. I'm going in with, I believe that's Film Noir. Yes, it's Film Noir because it's burgundy-ish on my skin tone. So yeah, I'm going in with Film Noir just to deepen up my contour, which I really didn't need to do. But she was being extra darling. So yeah, I'm just going to be perfecting my eyeshadow, making sure everything is blended and looking good. Now, I normally don't highlight under my brow bone either, but I want it to be extra that day. So I'm just adding it with the 239 and I'm going to blend it out with that 217 I used the second time around, which had no product on it. It was just used, used for, you know, blending out the eyeshadow. So yeah, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with max liquid last this eyeliner is actually waterproof so i like to go over it with not over it but i like to use it on top of something because it will not come off your eyes girl waterproof is not the word so now i'm gonna go in with these vegas nail lashes and these random lashes and stack them together and yes look at how beautiful that looks now I'm going to go in with a blum, blum, really, Diana? <laughs> now I'm going to go in with a plum lip liner from MAC just to start to create this lip look. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love lavender lips. I love nude lips. I just like to be different and out the box. So now I'm going in with Forever Beautiful Color. It's nothing next to heroin. Everybody says it reminds them of a heroin not a chance in hell but yeah i'm just going to be using that as my first lipstick and blending that in with the plum lip liner i just love lavender lips oh my god now i'm going in with lazy lullaby this is a straight white chalky beautiful <laughs> lipstick like oh my god it's so beautiful so i just go in Keep applying, blending, keep applying, blending, keep applying, and blending, blending, blending. <laughs> now I'm going in with Love and Cherished. This is similar to Lazy Lullaby, but it's a cream sheen. And it's just going to add some moisture in the middle because you do not want to look like you ate powdered donuts, darling. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to blend that. I oh, love this makeup forever. Yes, kiss the bottle, girl. Spray, 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 set my face. I have been loving the Makeup Forever setting spray. It is amazing. Oh, yes, darling. And I curled my hair off camera slash on camera. Look at these curls. I just love this black label hair. Listen, I'm going to be wearing this forever, darling, until it lasts. 
a a a a a can tell me nothing about myself that day. She know she was cute. Look at look 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 at her look at her look at her. Oh oh, show them curls, girl. This is a Flomar gloss. I believe it's in lilac, if I'm not mistaken. But it's just a perfect gloss to top this lip off. Look at this lip. This is such a beautiful lip. Like, I love this lip so much. I get so much compliments on this lip combo. Yes, darling. For, you, for yourself, Diana. Yes, Diana. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so this is the end of the makeup tutorial. I love this look. It is so pretty. Oh my God, it is so pretty and I love this hair. But yes, I did a cut crease, bold, smoky eye. I call it bold because it's super smoky. And I smoked out the lower lash line as well. And I have these beautiful lips that almost match my nails. Favorite color is purple, FYI. <laughs> but yes, this is the finished look. And until my next makeup tutorial, you know I'm going to see you back in a few weeks, right? I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.